There's um, a wide range of uh, procedures that are done from the cervical, thoracic uh, to lumbar spine. Um, I think what most people are aware of is the epidural, uh, and that's essentially placing steroid and numbing medicine around nerve roots that are inflamed and, uh, generally speaking, the source of pain. Uh, there's other things that can be done. Um, quite a few people have facet-mediated pain or sacroiliac joint-mediated pain. So uh, one of the roles is in diagnostics using uh, an injection to anesthetize an area and um, uh, if you relieve the patient's pain, you've now identified the source. Uh, it makes treatment uh, that much more effective. Um, there are therapeutic injections for those same structures. Um, uh, we do quite a bit with um, uh, uh, hip uh, diagnostically and therapeutically. Um, when uh, a patient comes in with low back pain and has an injection in the office, it's typically um, you know, something that takes a very short amount of time um, and uh, you know, they can uh, come in, have their injection, get on with their day. The neck and thoracic injections uh, typically are done at the hospital. A little bit uh, higher level of care, um, and so that's something that we uh, can do as well. Um, for some people, the steroid effect uh, may not last as long as we hope, and so there are other procedures called uh, radiofrequency ablation or neurotomy. Uh, in which we simply denervate the joint. Uh, so by taking away the nerve input to the joint, uh, we simply relieve the patient's pain.